Hello everybody, welcome to my Christmas mini demonstration for Devon and Cornwall area of Nafas. Um, please sit down and relax, uh, you might be having a cup of tea or coffee, it might be the morning for you, it might be the afternoon with a slice of cake, or you might be in the evening and you're having your G&T. I've just had a cup of tea because it's still morning here. Um, so I just wanted to make a fairly traditional design for you in this demo. Um, using my lovely birch container, so I have a whole set of these, so I've got like five of them. Uh, this is the medium size. I wanted to use the big size, but um, being a home camera, <laughs> everything's kind of shrunk in a little bit, and I'm not used to working small. So um, bear with me while I think how compact and neat I've got to keep this. So uh, I've got some lovely church candles that I'm just going to place in to the foam. And these I've got the actual holders for um, today. Obviously, you can use cocktail sticks taped to the base of the candle as well to go into your foam. And then we have some lovely blue spruce. So you get some beautiful, beautiful foliages at this time of year, don't you? And um, blue spruce is one of them. And the smell is amazing but it's not good to your hands because you end up with very green because you tend to pull off the pine needles you have very green hands so that's going to give us a little bit of weight at the base of our arrangement and then i've got a little bit of the talansia moss now this is an air plant you see it growing from trees just like that and um, I have a little tail with this moss. I bought it thinking I was buying just a box of moss um, at seven pounds for the box. But when it arrived, I'd actually bought 10 plants costing seven pounds. And that is one plant. So I'm gradually using them in my demonstrations. And um, um, I'm just, I don't want to pull this one to bits, so I'm using the whole thing, but I have kind of like feathered them out a bit and used them. It helped to cover your foam a little bit, and um, it's just an interesting texture going into the design. So I'll just pop that in just to begin with, just spread it a little bit around. And I'm taking it down over the front of my container as well. So I can't believe um, we're making our Christmas plans. Uh, someone told me this morning that they wrapped all their presents yesterday. I haven't even bought any presents yet. Um, but I do have a fair idea of what I'm buying for people this year. For some reason, I seem to be quite organised in that sense. Normally, I'm like last minute Larry, you know, trying to figure out what I'm going to get people. And I've left it really last minute. Um, but you know what? It's not about the presents, is it? It's just about being here and enjoying your time, relaxing, eating good food, drinking good wine, and just enjoying your time with your family. So a few of the um, lichen branches just popped in to take our eye through the arrangement. I just love the silvery colours that are coming into this, and it's just picking up the silver on the birch container as well. And let's pop some eucalyptus in. This is Baby blue eucalyptus, very, very popular eucalyptus, especially with brides. Um, and it's actually at its very best at this time of year, I, I think anyway, it's always really lovely and fresh. And again, the smell is amazing. So we're just gonna bring that following our branches. So while I'm here on the video talking to you, I would just like to say a huge thank you um, to the whole of Devon and Cornwall area. I had so much support um, 
when I took my national demonstrators test back in September, um, a lot of people actually came up to watch me and others as well. It wasn't all about me. Um, yeah, so that a lot of people did come up and watch uh, the demonstrations and support me, which, you know, is just so lovely to see when you recognise faces in the audience. And I had a huge amount of cards as well, good luck cards and messages sent through. Um, and hu a huge amount of congratulations cards. So I've never received so many cards in all my life, I don't think. But um, yeah, it was really, I really appreciated it. It was, um, you know, really nice to think that you were being thought of and that people were supporting you. So I've just placed in some of the Skimmia Kew Gardens. So this is a beautiful Skimmia. I haven't got this in my garden. It's actually a commercially bought Skimmia that I use in the shop. But uh, we'll just bring in a little bit of the lime green in just to add a bit of interest, different texture to our arrangement. And then we have some lovely pine, the different pine variety. So we're going to pop this in as well. I don't like that there, so it's not going to go there. You know when you're not quite sure when you put something somewhere, it's okay to take it out once maybe, but don't keep making holes in your phone. It's a very um, straight foliage, it's quite strong in its form. But again, a different texture coming into the arrangement. So I have one more demonstration left before Christmas comes. And um, that is this week. And looking forward to it because it is actually my only Christmas demonstration this year. Normally you have like three or four, but with everything that's been going on, um, you know, a lot of the demos have been cancelled for one reason or another and um, or maybe they just didn't think we would actually be open again for Christmas. So it's actually quite nice to have a quiet Christmas for demonstrations. Uh, I'm going to just pop a couple of flowers in here, nothing too much. So we've got a couple of the lovely avalanche roses. And these have opened up really beautifully for you. And I'm going to pop those straight in the front so they're looking right at us. This is a very popular rose for wedding bouquets for brides and you can see why, can't you? It's just the form is amazing. It's just full of petals. It's just gorgeous. So they've gone right in the front for our main focal flower. And they're actually a perfect matching colour to the candles. They are that lovely ivory colouring. And then I just have a few of the green Prado carnations, very soft green. open them up a little bit and just take them to the back. So if this was a table arrangement in the centre of your table you have got a few flowers looking to the back as well for the guests that are sat that side. Of course you could do a much larger scale this design for your font arrangement at church. It would look really pretty. One more, just down in there to bring the colour through. So that's that pretty carnation going in. So my last demonstration I did was um, for the area fundraiser for our area show, which is in April next year. And we're all really excited about it. We're on a real buzz from um, that day because it was so well supported. 
We had over 150 people come to the demonstration and also obviously come to the whole day's event where we had stalls and um, teas and coffees and we you know, provided lunch as well. So everybody on the committee worked really hard. Um, uh, a few extra people were dragged in on the day to help, including my mum, who was quite happy serving cups of tea and coffee all day. She um, thoroughly enjoyed herself. I think she um, just enjoyed seeing everybody and having a chat and a catch up. So it was a great day. And um, I'm not going to say how much was raised because I don't know if it's got to be announced properly or anything, but we did raise a huge amount of money towards the area show. So thank you so much for everybody that came to that. It was a really fun day. I was just, it's just a shame that I didn't see any of it because I was out the back getting ready for the demonstration. But it was uh, really good, good fun, a lot of hard work, but we raised a lot of money and that's what it was all about. And of course, getting everybody together again to see each other. So a very simple arrangement. Um, again, using just a few flowers. I like this. It's very calm, isn't it? And I've just got a few little bits to go in just to add some more interest. And that's these lovely, lovely cones. So these are like a white painted cone. And I've just wired, um, just put a wire around the base of them just to support them into my foam. So it's all go this time of year. Um, not only uh, do we have our Christmas demonstrations, we have to, I'm busy doing installations for Christmas. So we supply a hairdresser in the town. That's those pretty combs going in. Really quite delicate, aren't they? And um, I'm also doing um, a beauty sounds installation outside of her shop, or her salon should I say. Uh, we also have our Christmas tree festival coming up next week. It's all happening next week. Um, and this is fantastic because it didn't happen last year. So everybody's really, really excited to be involved. So we've got to make a Christmas tree next year, next week. Um, and also we have our clients as well that ask us to decorate their tubs, <laughs> um, arch, you know, porches, decorate trees and so on. So we have all that to do as well. So when it comes to doing my own decorations, it's all very last minute and a bit rushed and not thought about. I also have some pretty little stars to go in here. So these are birch stars. Again, I'm using these because they complement my whole arrangement. When we make a flower arrangement, we have to think about the container, the foliages, the little things that we add into it um, that all need to harmonise with the design, in which case these do, because they reflect the container that I've used. Um, they're made of birch, exactly the same. And what I've done is I've just wired them onto a little bit of the aluminium wire. So it's quite stiff, it's a little bit stiffer than the um, the bullion wire. And again, just placing them in the arrangement giving another little shape, making it very Christmassy. And actually, I have friends coming around this evening for drinks. So this will, I think I've done this just for them. And I probably will tell them I've done it just for them. <laughs> but um, it's gonna make my home look really festive without me actually doing any Christmas decorations yet. So I'm just gonna clear the decks a minute. Take that away. Christmas foliage makes such a mess, doesn't it? And the glitter makes a mess as well. And um, I hope you've enjoyed my little demonstration for you. I've really enjoyed doing them. It's been nice to think of some new arrangements and designs. Um, I think this is probably my favourite, but I might say the other one's my favourite later. But um, I hope you have a lovely Christmas. 
hope we don't see any of the white stuff and um, best wishes for a happy new year and I hope you're enjoying your gin and tonic and I look very much to seeing you next year back at our area meetings. Thank you.